Welcome back to Black News Tonight. A newly launched campaign is celebrating transgender athletes while raising funds to fight against anti-trans sports bans being enacted in various states across the nation. The Stack the Deck Against Hate initiative is a collaboration between Lambda Legal and Athlete Ally with a thousand limited edition decks of trading cards that feature four trans athletes with each card displaying a portion of the journey of the trans athlete. Joining me now to bring more insight into the Stack the Deck Against Hate campaign is <clears throat> the world's first professional transgender boxer, Patricio Manuel. Thank you so much for joining me here on this show. Talk to me a little bit about what this collaborative is. Stack the deck against hate. What's it all about? I mean, I think so much about what this project is, is taking the literal hate, you know, is recycled bills that are trying to specifically not about just targeting trans athletes like myself who are adults. They're targeting children. They're going after the most vulnerable members of our community and trying to make sure that children don't have the opportunities to enjoy sports. And as someone who loves sports and is very biased, I think that sports has the ability to change the world and is such an important fixture, not only in society, but particularly in black American society to rob children of the opportunity to be their full selves and to be able to participate in all the the, the beauty that comes from competition. Uh, you know, this is criminal. This is absolutely criminal. So for this campaign to highlight and also celebrate trans athletes and taking an old traditional uh, vehicle as a trading card and show that we are athletes, we are there, um, there will be more generations, and then also that we are humans at the same time. And I think that is also an incredibly important facet. So you're gonna be on a trading card. I mean, that's pretty extraordinary for an athlete. Did you think you'd make it here? What, what was it like? What was the journey like? Uh, this journey has been uh, very, very odd. Let me say that. I never had any of these, uh, visions of this happening when I started boxing as a 16 year old who was just going through so much turmoil, going through so much pain. Uh, what I now know is gender dysphoria. I felt like I was completely out of my body. I wasn't even good at boxing when I started. Uh, I lost my first three fights in a row and to suddenly become a, a fighter who didn't know what I was doing to a national champion to now being a pioneer um, as the first visible trans boxer uh, and now on a trading card like this has just been kind of a whirlwind of unexpected things my goal has always been and still is is just the fight like all i've wanted to ever do is box and do the sport that i love that is it all this extra things that have come have only been a result of me just being my true self and being completely unafraid and unwilling to compromise my vision of myself for anyone else there's been a lot of pushback against trans athletes in the last few months from the right. Uh, most of it, frankly, has been against trans women, uh, you know, all under the pretext of making sports fair for girls, uh, ignoring the fact that trans women and girls are women and girls, and ignoring the fact that in many ways this is a solution in search of a problem. There's not uh, a, a big, like, outcry of, like, girl sports teams that are feeling like they're having an unfair disadvantage suddenly. Uh, but the conversation about trans male athletes has been somewhat different. And one, it's been less vocal, and two, it's much more like, oh, you're a trans boxer, Patricio, and you're gonna fight uh, cisgendered men, you're at a disadvantage with fear for your safety. So it's a different kind of disingenuous argument. What do you, what do you make of it? I mean, first of all, it's incredibly frustrating. Um, I think this has been the issue for trans men in general, and this is not at all to push back on the fact why trans women, whether it's in sports or walking through life, are at a higher risk 
of being targets, uh, targets of violence at very different levels. Um, but I think what happens to us trans men is we get washed aside, we get ignored. We're not seen as a threat. It is incredibly insulting, not only to myself, but every boxer that steps in the ring, that someone is concerned for my safety. I, I don't know if people need to understand this, but the, the goal of my sport is to punch another person in the head until they can't stand up anymore. There, there is nothing about this sport that is about specific safety. I go in there just like every other boxer. I go in there risking my life for this search of glory and the fact that so many of us as athletes use boxing, and in particular speaking about boxers, we have used this sport to feel alive. We have used this sport to find ourselves. We have used this sport in the case of so many other uh, black boxers before me, looking at Joe Gans, Jack Johnson, Joe Lewis, Muhammad Ali, like this has been a sport that has allowed disenfranchised people to stand up and say, this is who I am. I am a man. This is what I'm fighting for. And, you know, for someone to say and be concerned about my safety, if they're concerned about my safety and the safety of other trans athletes, then it's not about sports that you should be concerned about. It's the fact that we live in a world where I have to run the risk of having lower employment. Um, I have the risk of not having proper housing. I have the risk of being killed just for who I am, compounded with the fact like I am black in this country as well. There are many other things to worry about my safety, me being involved in a sport that makes me happy, that I really enjoy being at, that I have represented this country um, participating in. That's completely unfounded and insulting to me. No, it's an, it's an incredible point you just made there. It's like, if you're really worried about trans folk, the place to be worried about them is not in the boxing ring. I mean, trans folk are much more likely to die walking down the street, but in interactions with law enforcement, being misgendered in correctional facilities. We can go down a list of things. You know, the boxing ring ain't one of them, you know, and not in any real way. Mm -hmm. I want to bring in uh, Chief Communications Officer at Lambda Legal, Sharice Bright. She's here with me now. Sharice, what's the reception been like of this Stack the Deck Against Hate campaign? Hello, Mark. I'm thrilled to be here. Uh, this reception has been fantastic. The point is, is that it is really good to have a creative way to keep saying the same thing that we've been saying over and over and over again, which is that no legislation will erase the existence of trans individuals. It's that simple. But to have a creative way to create, do a campaign that then benefits uh, trans and non-binary youth, the reception has been fantastic. And I can't thank Campbell Ewald and our other partners for coming together with us to create this campaign. No, it's, it's, it's been incredibly important to see this play out the way it has. Uh, and for me, as a kid who grew up with basketball cards, and baseball cards, and much of the heroes that I had growing up came from those cards, you know? Uh, when they see people like Patricio on the card, they're gonna have new heroes, new future legends. Absolutely. What's the message for Absolutely. kids in all of this? The message for kids is that you are loved, you are supported, and you will not be erased. We are here, we are fighting for you, and we aren't going anywhere just as you aren't. Uh, we want to let youth know, trans and non-binary non youth know that they can be on sports cars, they can play sports, they can reach the Olympics, they can be and do and have whatever they choose, and we will be here to make sure it happens for them. Amen. Sharice, Patricio, thank you so much for joining me. And everybody, if you're interested in getting one of those awesome trading cards, there's only a thousand of them right around, around, around the world right now, make sure you visit the state, stack the deck against hate.org. If you do that and you donate to Lambda Legal, you'll be entered into a drawing to win one. I'm going to be doing mine as soon as I get off this show. 